One animal is nicknamed the forest giraffe. The other looks like a chimpanzee. Both are endangered and living in the wild in Central Africa. They are the topic of two children's books we're featuring in our author spotlight. Julie Ilando of Harrisburg is here with Meeting the Bonobo and Meeting the Okapi. I had never heard of either of these creatures as we were talking at the beginning of the show. Brett has heard of at least one of them. Does it surprise you that I haven't heard of them or have a lot of people just never heard of these creatures? It doesn't surprise me at all. No, I thought a you'd say that. A lot of people never heard about, this, especially the bonobo. People just don't know about the bonobo. They don't know about the okapi, so that doesn't surprise me at all. Well, sometimes I think the best way, even for us adults, to learn is through a children's book because it's just yes. very straightforward, really easily digestible. You have two of them today. Let's start with the okapi, which maybe more people have heard of. Yes. Um, what is an okapi and what's in the book? Well, what we wanted really to talk about the okapi was to give facts about the okapi, just to let children meet the okapi. What is an okapi? It's an animal that you can only find in the wild, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He, love, he is very shy, oh. you know, and the difference between the male and the female with the horns, and uh, the okapi likes to eat leaves, he likes being by himself. So just those little facts that we give to children sure. so that they know at least. Introducing a friend, that's what we wanted to do with our books. And it's basically the same with the bonobo. Because at the end of the day, when the kids uh, uh, finish reading the book, they will know what is an okapi. Yeah. What does it look like? Oh, it's related to the giraffe. Which is crazy yeah. because it has the zebra stripes. Right? Yes, like, yes. So really looking at it, you, I wouldn't know that it was related to the giraffe. Yeah, it's related to the giraffe than the zebra. So oh, it's, That's yeah. so neat. Okay, so then let's talk about the bonobo, yeah. so meeting the bonobo. What is in this book? Like, what will we learn? Yeah, so it's the same thing with the bonobo. We wanted to tell kids what is a bonobo because it's really not re known uh, compared to the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee is well known. Yeah. And I think also the, the fact that the bonobo can only be found in the wild in the Congo is one of the reasons why the bonobo is not well known. And the fact about the bonobo, what we wanted to share with the kids is like, women are leaders. So these groups are led by women. Ah, yes. So, and the bonobo are peaceful apes. So they are peaceful. They, they, they are the love ape. Oh. And that's even why we celebrate uh, Bonobo Day on uh, February 13, on the Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, I yeah, never that's heard bonobo of that day, either. So, yeah. I know this is such a cool way for children, and like I said, adults to learn. We can just absorb so much. Why did you specifically want to highlight these two creatures? Because they are not well known. They are not well known, and I think there's a lot of awareness work that should be done around these two because they're endangered. Mm -hmm. So the organization that work for the conservation, like Okapi Conservation Project for Okapi and Friends of Bonobo, they need funds, they need awareness, they need help. So we, we, we said, okay, let us help them by publishing these books. Yeah. The more people know about the bonobo, the more people know about the okapi, they will be interested in knowing what has been done to protect them. Yes. And they will go ahead and help this organization, Friends of Bonobo and Okapi Conservation Project, to raise funds and help protect these animals. Well, it's terrific because then, I mean, it, you're showing such an effort for conservation by putting these books out. So I thank you for that. Thank you so much for being with us. Really good to have you with us. You are very Welcome. Really it's lovely an honor books. For me. Well, like Juliet, you can be in our author spotlight. Visit gooddaypa.com, click on Be a Guest. And while you're there, you can check out other author segments. Click Author Spotlight under our quick links. There's more Good Day PA on the way. Stay with us. We'll be right back.